decorate the centerpiece of my eating um, eating area here we are transitioning into spring so I wanted to change out my table stick so I just cleared my whole table and I wiped it down so I thought I'll um, bring you along and show you some of the ideas that I may come up with uh, I posted a picture on my Instagram I just got this cool 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 so awesome vase and I was um, putting different roses um, in there so I just wanted to show you guys how I decorated my centerpiece and I know uh, you guys are doing the same so come along as I decorate the centerpiece of my table So this is how it looks I'm going to I still love this um, when I I got this runner from Pier one I just love that it opens up it breaks up some of the darkness of the table here um, and So I just set that there. This is the tray that I hauled um, that came out of my um, Glam it came out of my glam um, haul, I believe. And it just has crystals around it. You can see the detailing here. So I think that's a pretty tray. I'm just gonna set it right there in the middle. So, and I have these vases right here. This is actually two pieces. These um, came together. And then I added these little decorative balls in there. So this is one idea. Uh, Set it like that. I believe these may have came from Z Gallery. These mirrored pillars right here for candles. So that's, oh, that's something just not too fussy, short and sweet to the so point. So I think this may be just a little harsh with, and it needs a little greenery. So these little boxwood balls here, you can always just set it right there just like that you can even put it on the top of here like that I have two let's see where the other one is and then also have a little um, faux succulent oh it came from over here it was a couple of euros over here you can also just move that back and sit that there and take the boxwood away just to have a little greenery added in there. Oh, this is one idea. We can also take these away. And I also have, remember I hauled these. And these, you can add these on the table like that. That may be too much, but this particular one so i have three different kinds this actually came from z gallery i have forgot i had these so these are a larger square this is more like a rectangular so these two i got over here at xxl but this one particular came from z gallery so we can always mix and match the shapes so maybe i'll put the rectangular one here the circle one here something like that sometimes I even add, I only have two of these. I've got, I have these for some time now. These came from Hobby Lobby. Sometimes I'll set it out like that, just on the ends, because I only have two, and I tried to see if Hobby Lobby still carried them, but they didn't. So I'll do it like that and remove this. Okay, so that's one idea. We can also take this all out. I know these are super popular here. These little jars, it just has some crystal. I have this over here on my bar, bar server, but I thought I'll bring it over here. I still have it, it was only $14.99 at Home Goods. So, that will work like that. Then, You all know we did this. We all went and glued these bases on. Um, I got these candlesticks, I believe, at Michael's, and you know these little things came from the Dollar Tree. So this is how the candlestick looks without the glass. So we can always add that for some height. I think this is too, too small. This is not tall enough for me. So I'll switch that out and put my I have a one that's just clear. 
option, I always just put that one here. Just like that. Or if that's too much glass, I can take these away. I have these pretty um, mosaic candlesticks. These are from, ooh, I think Pier One. I've had these for quite a while. I can set that like this over there. I can clear Dollar Tree um, candlesticks. And then we could set it like this and put some white candles, like that, maybe. Or maybe put the white candles here and then just add something else over here on the side. I'm just pulling stuff from around my house and just playing with the table, okay? So, I mean, we can do it like that. I'm not a fan of this, this particular style like that. Um, let's bring it back, add the tray back in, like this, here, to break up some of that one. What does it look like if I added it in here? No, I don't like that. So, you can do it like this. Wait, I did have, I think I had this like that. Could bring those back as well. Yeah. Okay, so, that's a few ideas, but, this is the way, I'm gonna show you my awesome vase. So we're gonna keep the table mat down. And I just took this off. This is over here on my bar server over here, but I'm gonna use it for now. I never put it um, in the front of, in the center of my table. So I'm gonna leave it there because I don't want my, I, I put trays down. Um, I put trays down here because of the beading and I don't want the middle centerpiece to rock. So I like to put a tray or something under it. So that's super cute like that is my vase. So I created these flowers. I created this. This is the roses I um, got from the store XXL and if you remember this was already a bunch and these little white roses the stems that if you remember in my haul this had a whole bunch of white roses on this long stem and I just pulled all of them off and just stuck them in here and the, and the yellow ones I individually stuck in here as well so look at this amazing vase oh, it is absolutely gorgeous so, I created that, so I'm gonna set that there. I think that is so springy, so awesome. Look at it. So I just went out and just stuck random roses in there. And then I had a few left. Um, I thought about sticking some pink ones in there, but I'm, that's, I'm just gonna leave it with the yellow here. Just like that. So this is what I've just been randomly sticking roses in there. And then I'm gonna take, these are usually over in my curio cabinet. I'm taking them out and I'm gonna set it here. I think that is so awesome like that. Always have, I always have a candle. Um, this is where we eat and all that good stuff. So I always have a candle on my table. We'll just sit that there. Take this off. I think I'm going to add in these on the ends. Maybe. No, I think I like it without it. Let's see if I put it under. Um. Hmm. You guys let me know. Should I leave the, a few circle ones on there? Oh, let's see what the square one looks like. You see that? Do we like the tablecloth, the, the placemats? Let's see. This is what it, let's take it off. So this is how it looks so far without anything on there. It's just, just like that. Oh, how pretty. I think it needs something else like right here. Let's see. 
and the boxwood balls. Do we need some greenery down here? Some boxwood, mm. Maybe, should we put the greenery up there? Does that look right? You guys let me know in the comments if that looks right. Where's the other one? You know what these are? These are some earrings. They're so pretty. Look at them. I'm just gonna set them here. Just like that, just to add some more glam. One day I had taken them off while we were having dinner and I set them in that tray and I just love the way they've been looking. So I just leave them there. I think that's so pretty. So let's see the earrings. Let's see. So that's how the earrings look. They're so pretty. Okay. Okay, so I went and grabbed these out from my kitchen. They usually sit on my kitchen counter. They are some sparkly, um, sparkly things from Z Gallery. These came from Z Gallery. So I'm just wiping them off. Okay, so this I got over here in um, one of the little dish drawers. I'm not quite sure what it's made for, but it just fits my salt and pepper shakers that I got from Z Gallery in there so well. So I can always set them either here or inside the tray as well. Is that too much? Does it look cluttered? I just think it's so pretty. Table is gonna look like, maybe I'll change and add candles or if I don't like this right here, I can take this down and I have these little things that I can add in there. Also, it's all right there. Which one looks better? The boxwood or the blingy? Should I keep that on there? Let's see if we put a candle up there. I really don't like candles this high because I have kids and they always acting so obnoxious. So. Um, that's what it looks like with candles. Maybe, let me know what should I add on the top of these candlesticks and I will get it done. This says love, I'm not sure where it came from, but we can add that there as well. Or turn it, I like it like that. Okay, so this is also another option. I put the um, salt and pepper shakers there, kept the earrings, and added these um, small, these are Nicole Miller from Home Goods. And they were, oh, it's a string. And they were $5.99 from Marshalls. And so, I think I like that. Um, and then I just left the two place match just to give some more interest to the table. Um, I, could, I may, I thought about putting this as an unexpected piece. How does that look? Maybe I'll move the earrings on that side and add the, I think that's so darling. I think I'm gonna leave it like that and just add the little earrings over here. It's just so unexpected. I like that. Yes, there. So we'll just leave it there. Now I'd have to wipe down all this stuff from touching all over it. But how cute these up here. First, I wasn't, I didn't like that up there. I thought it was too much. I'm going to leave it like this now. I'm not going to change it anymore. <laughs> I didn't change this thing like 12 times. I'm going to leave it like this and see if I love that cherry there. I just like that unexpected rose gold. It's just like unexpected. So I just think it's so cute right there. It's a lot going on on this table, but it's so me. I'm so extra, so yes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Okay, so I hope you guys gathered some great ideas to decorate the centerpiece of your table. I don't completely set this table because we eat dinner here every night and my children sometimes do their homework down here. So it's just too much to set it. Now in my other house when I had two tables, I had my kitchen area and a formal dining. I kept my formal dining set all the time. But this one I can't. So all my dishes and china and all that is put up because I can't use it here. But I thought I'd uh, come back here and show you some great ideas to decorate your 
2017 spring table. Now, I really love that vase. Besides the roses, I'm gonna play around and see what other type of flower or tulips or anything else will fit in there or look amazing in there. But for now, this is gonna be my table skate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and stay tuned for many more videos. Bye guys. Mwah.